Hi there friends, fellow crafters, and everybody out there in video land. It's Leanne, and I'm going to be here doing a finishing touches on a project for this Scrap Perfect design team using the best glue ever. Um, Thanksgiving is this week here in the U.S., and we're having going to a dinner tonight before I have to leave for work. And so I decided to make Thanksgiving Day cards for everybody, um, for each family. And after I put three of them together, I decided, wow, I should just do a video of this for my design team project. So I'm going to put the last card together, uh, or actually I have the last three cards that I'm going to put together with you. So here's my card base. I have a layering. I have a piece of pattern paper another layer, my image, and this is for the inside. So let's put this card together. These are just some some clean and simple easy cards to do. I love this glue because it really does not take much to hold your card together. So there is my first layer. Here is my second layer. I'm going to flip it to the inside. This one I've decided is going to go this way so I can keep the pattern straight. Put it over on this side. I'm going to, this is the stamp set I'm using. It's Lawn Fawn's uh, Turkey Day. Not sure what, uh, 2015 it says. So that's the stamp I'm using. I'm using Brilliance Coffee Bean Ink for my sentiment. Just going to ink it up, stamp it down. Nice and easy. I have my image that I've already stamped and colored. Put that down on that panel. I am using um, some craft adhesive. Well, actually it's Fun Foam from the craft store that I cut down to one and a half by one and a half inch squares. I put some double sided adhesive on the back of one side. The other side was already sticky. And that will hold my turkey. So there's my card. These are three others that I've already completed. So they're all the same, but they're all a little bit different. My card bases are all from a cardstock warehouse, I believe it's called. Now I don't remember. So let's put one more together. Again, just a little glue will do you. You don't have to use a whole ton. I've been using this bottle since... April, I believe, for just this one bottle, and I use it on almost every project. And when you make about at least 20 cards a, a month, a little bit goes a long way, makes life good. So yeah, even though cards weren't required, I thought it would be uh, I thought it would be fun to make each family their own card for tonight. Um, I mean, why not? I bought the sodas. 
which is funny for when I said, what can I bring? They said, oh, we still need somebody to bring soda. And I'm thinking, okay, so the person who does not drink soda is the person that's bringing the soda. So that was, that was real interesting. But at least it was not a good deal. They're like, yeah, we need soda, we need bread. And I'm like, I try to do low carb and I don't drink soda. But could have been worse. I could have had to actually cook something. And since cooking is not my favorite thing to do, and I just got off work at 9 o'clock this morning and have to be back at 9 o'clock tonight, and this shindig starts at 7.30, last thing I wanted to do was cook. Here we go. Card number five complete. As it is, it's almost six o'clock now. And, uh, just like I said, trying to get these done. Nothing like last minute. Nothing like last minute projects for, uh, not only for my gift giving, but I really don't like being this late on a design team project. I had another project done, but since this is my last project for Scrap Perfect before Thanksgiving, I said, well, let me just go ahead and use this. And that other project I have, I can use next month. So if you're not familiar with Scrap Perfect, there will be a link in the description box below for, um, the website. Not only do they have glue, but they have uh, large, medium, and small uh, precision tips, which for this project I did not need to use one of those. Um, and then there is the perfect pouch, which is when you're planning on heat embossing. You can use that on your uh, on your paper or your acetate, whatever you're going to heat emboss on, and it will take that static off. So the embossing powder only goes and stays where you want it. And then there is the um, perfect cloth, perfect, perfect cleaning cloth. Sorry, my brain's not working. Uh, the perfect cleaning cloth which you can use to clean your stamps with after using the best cleaner ever, which I'll show you in just a minute when I reach around and grab it so that I can clean off my stamp because now my last card is complete. So there are six cards for my Thanksgiving party tonight. We have the best cleaner here. Best cleaner ever. Just put a little spritz and that was actually a bit too much. I believe my cleaning pouch is actually in the wash. Uh-oh. My perfect cleaning pouch got thrown in the wash. So I'll use a bit of paper towel. You saw me stamp it. And a bit of paper towel. And my stamp is all clean again. There you go. So, you all have, everybody here in the United States, you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving this week. As for me, I get off work at 6 o'clock that morning. I will have all day. I will go back to work at 1 o'clock the next morning. 
five hour shifts, I can handle that. I don't have to cook. And life is good. So, here's the L'Enfant stamp that I use, which is Turkey Day. The best glue ever from Scrap Perfect. The best cleaner ever from Scrap Perfect. And again, the six cards. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. The paper that I used for my projects, it was Cardstock Warehouse for my card base. And then I can find what I did with it real quick. Here we go. I have I used this one and the plaid from Golden Days from Fancy Pants Design. And then I use the acorns, the wreaths, the flowers, and the leaves from Echo Park's or Cartabella's Fall Market. So there we go. Y'all have an awesome day. Have an awesome holiday. Hit that thumbs up if you liked my video. Subscribe. Hit the bell if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you on the next video.